YouTube means so much to me. It gave me a lot of confidence. Um, I now feel a lot more happy with myself and... It's fun. Um, for a lot of people, it's a way to express themselves. It's just a great outlet to express my creativity. The internet and making videos and, and expressing my opinion on different subjects and editing things and putting things together in a fun, creative way is just a great way for me to express that. Before I started my YouTube channel, I was more of an introverted person and it may seem kind of hard for people that know me very well to uh, believe that, but I wasn't as outgoing as I am now. Interacting with people that I don't know and that I haven't met and, and doing things like that has helped me become a more open person and a more people person, which I am really uh, grateful for. So YouTube means a lot to me, man. It lets me forget everything that's happened to me, everything that's going on. Type in something in the search bar, click my favorite YouTubers, and just watch their videos and just laugh. There's so many people doing it and we can, you know, connect with each other through video. And to me, the whole YouTube community is just brilliant people who share ideas, share, you know, funny videos. And it's absolutely great to be a part of it. Without YouTube, I would be less confident, less outgoing, less creative. I mean, YouTube is a great way to express yourself. It really is. Um, and the fact that you doing what you enjoy can be seen by so many people. That's really cool. That's awesome. YouTube means a lot to me. Through my YouTube videos, I've become more confident in who I am and I have begun to really trust my sense of humor and... Using YouTube as that ultimate creative artistic expression. For me, YouTube is a sort of hub where everybody can upload their talents and the things they love to do. And they can actually get an audience, people who actually want to watch them do what they like to do. And to me, that that's just awesome. And that just pretty much makes YouTube the best social networking site in the world. It's more than a social networking site. It's like an entire culture. You have people who send you fan mail, people who subscribe to you, people who leave you comments on your videos saying, you know, oh my gosh, you're my favorite YouTuber, or I love your message, which that's a great feeling. I love it. When I make a video and someone watches my video, it just, it just makes me happy to know that, you know, when I get like a positive message back that I've actually done something for someone, that it is the best feeling. If I was internet famous, it would mean a lot just because I would love to make a load, a load, a load of people happy. <laughs> Being internet famous would be really cool, it really would. Um, but really, if I could just make one person's day, or, you know, change one person's life, that's good enough for me. If I am considered internet famous for what I'm doing on YouTube, that would mean that I have achieved my goal. It all it all means that it was worth it and I'm going there I'm, I'm steadily climbing my way up to that goal and uh, I'm gonna get there I will if you have um, a couple hundred thousand subscribers and several million views then maybe you would possibly reach the point of being internet famous and hopefully I'll be there one day it will be such a great accomplishment to actually achieve internet fame so hopefully one day I can achieve that goal of mine and I hope everyone else who wants to achieve internet fame accomplishes it also. I mean, I don't know what I would literally do if I got internet fame. I would cry. I would cry on the spot, I'm afraid. If I got internet famous, I mean, it would just do so much for me. It would change my life. It is because it's the community, it's everything. It's just, it's so important and it is part of my life now. And so to be internet famous would be to succeed in something that is a huge part of my life and that would, that would mean a lot to me. I would, uh, I don't like the word fame, but I would love to be internet famous because it would just mean I am, I am a part of something that I love so much and a significant part of something that I love so much. So what is internet fame? Well, to those outside of this cultural phenomena, internet fame is seen as those videos like Afro Ninja or Tron Guy. Maybe a video of someone bailing on a skateboard, those videos that get shared around the school or the office, the one-hit wonders of the internet. 
But for those of us in the loop of online entertainment, we know internet famous as the people who have really innovated online media and have grown audiences of a hundred thousands to even millions of people who come back every week just to watch their specific content. Much like tuning in to watch your favorite TV show or going to the movies to see the latest movie from your favorite directors. Looking at channels on YouTube like Smosh and Ray William Johnson, they've achieved audiences of over 8 million subscribers. Looking at those numbers, you can see it's becoming something far greater. These people are pioneering our future media and it's slowly taking over. If you look at the big channels, huge celebrities from the mainstream media are all coming to YouTube trying to collaborate with people who are internet famous because they know where the power is shifting to. The internet famous of today are the A-list celebrities of tomorrow. I mean, some of these people have been doing online video, they've been on YouTube for five years or more, and they're respected for it, but it's not completely understood by a lot of people. Like, oh, what's the big deal over some people who make videos online? And I like to explain it like this, if these people have been making videos for five years, and have audiences of millions of people that have been watching them five years. It's kind of like how my generation grew up watching Nickelodeon shows. Spongebob, The Amanda Show, whatever the fuck it was, Drake and Josh. And there's a whole new generation of kids who are growing up with the internet and are growing up with YouTubers like Smosh, Ray William Johnson, Niga Higa as the equivalent of what we had growing up on TV. And a lot of the content online now is of a TV movie quality standard. It's advanced to the point of the partnership program, where content creators partner with YouTube to have unique channel branding options, like special banners and adverts put up in their videos which allow them to actually make a living off of YouTube. There are networks on YouTube, Machinima, Maker Studios, who partner channels and also allow these unique content creators to share in the revenue earned by their videos online. It's basically, it, it takes all the aspects of traditional media that made it the power that it was and then just gets rid of all the bullshit. Internet fame is a legitimate fame. If you look at places like VidCon and Playlist Live, these are events or gatherings for online video. They are massive. If you look at uh, someone like Shane Dawson, who is a huge internet personality, a huge YouTube personality who has over millions of subscribers, when he walks into these events, uh, people go crazy. They start crying just because they're so overwhelmed with happiness to see him. Uh, so, I'm very excited because this is going to be something different, you guys. Are you ready? Break it out, Shane! You're Break it out! Um, okay, so, would that be fun? I wanted to show you this. <laughs> There's a lot of people in London. Esau! Esau! Sam says the police can't get us if, uh, if we're surrounded, which yeah, isn't a very good plan, oh, yeah. Sam. Okay, the cops are currently located. They don't look very happy. This is scary. So we've been told to stand on this hill. Um, the only switch that can happen is... So we set up a line, as you can see. Oh my god. Louis, this is crazy. What does YouTube mean to me? YouTube to me is a way for people like me who like to share our thoughts with the world and share our creative expressions with the world to share our creative expressions with the world. In just 2005, there was no easy way to get your creative content, like videos and things, to anybody. If you were a filmmaker, you had to either uh, get uh, somebody at a movie studio to agree to produce your film or distribute your film, or you had to get 
into a film festival and jump through all their hoops and meet their requirements and pay their entry fees. And there was no way to get a two minute video, like the ones I make, to anybody. YouTube finally gives an opportunity for people like me to share things that we create that are fun, entertaining, educational, uh, enlightening with people throughout the entire planet. Plus, YouTube gives me an opportunity to find my audience. Out of a hundred people, I don't know if one of them is going to like the kind of videos I make. But there are probably hundreds of millions if not billions of people watching YouTube videos. So those one out of a hundred people, or one out of a thousand, or one out of a million people who like my videos can find them, subscribe to me, and then I have a nice little group of people who like the kind of stuff that I do. It really helps me use my creative juices and that is wonderful for someone in a small town. We aren't given many opportunities in a small town besides community theater, so to have the opportunity to sit in your bedroom and create a video and then post it online that very same day if you choose, it's amazing and I am so glad that I have stopped taking it for granted and here I am today. I make videos because I love entertaining people and I just, I want to make people laugh. It's fun for me and I like entertaining others. I make YouTube videos because it changes me, it just, it's something I love to do. I love waking up every morning with a new idea, something new to do on YouTube and just knowing that it could inspire people and change people. I've just enjoyed making people laugh. My goal is to make someone's day, to make them laugh, smile, and you know when I get that feedback it just gives me the drive to keep on making videos. I make videos because I'm trying to make a community on YouTube that is for the comic book, sci-fi, fantasy, uh, anime, those kind of people, the people who love that stuff. The reason why I, I uploaded videos, so I can make other people laugh, so they can get entertained. I just have my opinions, my thoughts, letting it out to the audience to see if anyone feels the same way that I do. I make videos so I can express myself and so that I can actually hear what people are saying, the subscribers, and I can talk to them and I can interact with them. Why do you make videos? I like making people happy. I love being able to connect with my audience and have them, um, you know, happy oh, because of me. Personally for me, I enjoy just talking about techy stuff on YouTube because pretty much outside of YouTube, nobody likes to talk about techy stuff. You know, people, they want to talk about music, stuff like that. For me, I can actually go into YouTube, I can actually talk about techy stuff, talk about geeky stuff. I make videos because I love writing music, I love making dance techno stuff, and I want to be able to share it with people. I enjoyed and appreciated other people's videos, and I wanted to return the love and give something back to the community. To spread a good message, a positive quote to brighten up someone's day. It's just a really great outlet for me to not only be creative, but for me to spread a message that I think is important. Hey Matt, you know what would be cool? If I got to do the show by myself. Even better. Wait, what? I said the new Total Recall movie. That could be cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, I thought you said something else. Nope. So the new Total Recall movie is coming out this summer. Right, and although I typically think that all remakes are I actually think this could be kind of cool. My name is Mark. I, uh, I'm the producer of Fanboy Flicks. I've been an entertainer my whole life, and it wasn't until I started doing videos on YouTube that I really found an audience. Being on YouTube has totally changed my life uh, as an entertainer and I love it. I love creating videos, I love posting the videos and then you know waiting to see the views and it's like instantaneously you know, there's views and comments and people that like it and you know want to know when's the next video coming out and <laughs> you know what are you gonna do next and it's just it's a it, it almost gets overwhelming but it's a it's good it's a it's a great feeling that you know you can entertain people um, just basically from your home. It's the biggest stage 
on the planet, you know, and anybody can come up on stage and do their thing. Something with like the penny. We yeah. talked about that. Remember how Did I said we? when I was working and like this lady came up to me, she was so upset that I couldn't give her back pennies. And I felt like just saying to her, you're right. You're right. Like the government <laughs> called me at home and was like, it's completely Jamie, what do you think we should do about the penny? And I was like, you know, we should just take that away. So thank you for ruining my day, lady. you getting mad at me because um, it's my fault. We can, we can work on that. I think that's like genuinely I think that could be something funny. It's hilarious. Mark actually asked me to come on board. Uh, we've actually been doing a lot of writing together for a number of years. There's always pressures like especially if people know that you're doing it like your friends and your family saying like oh this is never going to amount to anything or it's a waste of your time and um, you know even relationships kind of suffer because you don't get to spend time with with them but you have to know that this is what you want to do and if this is the industry that you want to be in you have to be able to say like it's my life and I want to do what I want to do I make videos because I love making videos, it's that simple. I was one of the earliest people to create a YouTube account, I think back in like 2006, it started in 2005. I started to realise that YouTube was a really good platform for um, sharing your own created work. I mean, I was a musician, I wasn't really interested in making videos. But I saw that um, video added a whole new dynamic for musicians where it was, the whole visual element was there too rather than just sound. Uh, so I started to try and think with my music how I can create that visual element. As soon as I started to do that, and just originally it was just pictures and slideshows, uh, but as soon as I started to put visuals with my music it got a lot more attention and that's when I started to realise that YouTube was maybe something big and uh, was the way forward. YouTube's really important to me. It is the center of the internet for me, I'd say. It's, um, it's, a, it's a fantastic medium for publishing because it completely cuts out any gatekeepers and middlemen like that. It's just, uh, it's you and you have an audience there. If, you're, if your videos are shareable and watchable, people will share them and watch them. It's that simple. YouTube just cuts out the middlemen cuts out the gatekeepers and it lets an artist or a creator speak directly to an audience without anyone interfering in between and that's a really pure form of communication to me and I think it's brilliant. I mean I've had a limited experience with TV producers and what I've found is TV is so much slower, it's glacial compared to producing stuff for YouTube like there's, there's lawyers involved, there's commissioners, everything has to go through checks and revisions and, and usually the initial idea ends up coming out nothing like what it was because they've had to remove this or replace this because we don't want it to upset our um, shareholders or advertisers. It's just, I don't like working in television really, I've got to say. The strange thing about internet famous, I guess, is that your people who know you aren't all constrained to one particular location, so you can walk down your local street, chances are no one will recognise you, but still out there there's hundreds of thousands of people who do know you. Um, and that's quite cool because even though I've got this, this large fan base behind me, I can still just walk around, with, you know, go and buy my groceries anonymously, and that's cool. I guess on a certain level I'm already internet famous, I get messages each day from people saying I like this song. The best messages for me are when people, when a song that I've done or something I've made has really affected their life and made them 
realise something like they're not alone in a particular way of feeling or a particular point of view. And I think it's that connection which is really good um, about communicating with people online. In your local area you might find one or two people who share the same views as you or who really are in touch with what you're saying. Online, millions of people. Billions even. I made the decision, the conscious decision, that I was going to really do some self-improvement stuff and really just try and be a better person all around. And uh, it sounds kind of cheesy and cliche, but um, it's probably probably been the best thing I've ever done uh, in my entire life. And the thing is, though, is that I, I had no idea that it was going to impact me uh, creatively as well. So... I think differently now than I did before. You know, one of the things I learned was how not to be so critical of everything all the time. You know, how do you be a critic and not be critical? It's just been such a back and forth now with, you know, doing the movie reviews because there's one side of you that, you know, loves doing the reviews and loves having fun and has a sense of humor about everything. And then the other side that doesn't really want to be so critical of everything and wants to create something original and do more things that are original instead of just critiquing other people's work for entertainment. And that's, it's really difficult, you know, walking that tightrope. I think I started the channel at a time when maybe I was, I wasn't feeling too good about how things were going and, um, I really needed a creative outlet, like like usual, and I needed to create something, and of course it had to be through video. And, you know, I guess I always felt, growing up, um, you know, I wasn't really popular growing up, and I, I always felt that my peers were very critical of me. So eventually the thought process just kind of grew into, well, if people are going to be critical of me, then I'm going to be critical of them. And I just kind of adopted, for most of my life, this just this victim mentality, and it was terrible. It was incredibly childish and juvenile, and looking back at it, I'm just not, I'm not there anymore. And I just feel better about stuff, and I don't really feel the need to be so critical of everything. And that's such a double-edged sword when you've built your channel and you've built your fan base on being ridiculously critical of things. as like a person and as like an artist or an entertainer you know, you're going to grow older and things are going to change your perspective you know your perspective on life and things is going to change and that's going to change your work and what comes through in your content and people the hard thing is, is that you came you came and fake it uh you know even now i try through the reviews to try and you know make the reviews the same and people people notice the fans say like you know your new reviews are good but they're just not quite they the way they were back in the beginning and that's tough cuz the biggest fear that you have as an entertainer is, is losing your audience lately i've been working overtime just to try and come up with new things because what you see on the show what you see on the channel it's it's me but it's not it's not everything that's not all there is and there's so much more things that I want to do you know in terms of comedy and, and creatively I'm really not sure when the whole thing started for me but I do remember my earliest memory that I do have um, at all is I think it was either four or five and I was on a TV show um, it was a TV show for kids and I just remember um, being on set for the show and I just there was just something about it that I just loved I, I loved the idea of, of entertaining and be part of entertainment and from there it's just been something I've done my entire life uh, you know I just can't even you know put it into words how awesome it is to have um, an audience of people from around the world. The fact that I can do it and you know make money from Google off of it is it's a bonus, but it's not 
it's never the drive for me. The drive for me isn't because I have a full time job, so I don't, I don't really need to do this. It's because I want to do this so bad. If I didn't have this, I don't know what I would do. When I'm not producing media, when I'm not doing videos, when I'm not entertaining, I I get depressed because it's it's been something that I've done from such a young age that I can't. It's it's like it's just hardwired into my into my brain and into my mind that I have to do it. And when I'm not doing it, I feel it feels I feel off. I don't feel like me, and and I get sad. I get depressed. When I'm editing, I usually find, um, I, I guess I've kind of gotten to the process now uh, with a lot of the videos where it's called taking out the trash and then trimming the fat. So you go through the footage and you kind of just, you cut out the pieces that are obviously not going to go in. So between takes or whatnot. So you're really cutting in the parts that uh, there is content that's usable. And then, then it's then trimming the fat, which is going through that content and trimming out all the stuff that either isn't funny or isn't entertaining or isn't keeping uh, someone's attention. I use uh, Final Cut Pro to edit. Uh, I've used everything from Adobe um, Premiere uh, to Avid and um, Final Cut. Uh, I'm just so used to using Final Cut now. I really enjoy using it. I had no clue that anybody could make videos. Like I was sitting there on YouTube one time and I was wondering where do all these videos come from? And my friends just told me that random people just make them like you could make them. And I was like, really? I discovered YouTube when it first came out. I was part of that AOL internet generation. And the reason I started uploading videos was because during that time I started getting into video editing and I thought I could entertain people. I had known about the site since it was created and I always went on to search for viral videos and stuff like that. The videos that were getting passed around and all my friends were like, you have to see this. Honestly, I can't remember how I discovered YouTube, but when I did, I just wanted to get involved. When I was really young, a couple of my friends just showed me different videos on YouTube and I started to like it and I got really interested in it and for years I told myself I was going to start. so. I just ended up starting one day. Um, I came across YouTube um, by, it was by accident. Me and my cousin were on the internet and it actually popped up. You know, the pop-up blocker wasn't on. And I think this is when YouTube first started out. The pop-up blocker, it made a mistake and, it, you know, it just, it popped up. So, we're looking at it like, huh? And the way the layout looked, of course, years ago, it was a lot different. And I just never seen... A layout like that I seen all these random videos and I never at the time you know I'm thinking like man I like this hey guys what's up it's Joey and I just wanted to tell you all a little love story as to how I met one of my girlfriends so it was one of my first days of school and it was lunchtime and I went up to go use the coke machine <laughs> This is Joey Gatto. When I first came into contact with Joey Gatto, he had 300 subscribers on his YouTube channel. Now, he has over 10,000. YouTube has meant so much to me over the years. It's made me new friends. I've met so many new people and it's really shaped how I live my life. Just so blessed to have had YouTube in my life. I had a video that hit a million views, which is amazing. I mean, people contact me and say, oh, I've seen your video, love from Africa, love from Brazil. Like that's, that's incredible to me that people have seen my work from around the world and that would have never happened if it wasn't for YouTube. The next three minutes are an experiment, but in order for it to work, you have to pay attention.
Have we met? 